needs help. And of course, the power puffers are there to help him out. But one power puffer needs to catch up. So can you help her? Who wants to help the power puffers? There you go. Okay, so here's, here's um, the game. Who can you see? Who's at the top? It's... And then we have... And the one at the bottom is... Buttercup, that's right now. Can you see the arrow at the top? It's pointing to the... Green flag. Look what will happen after we click on the green flag. There you go. So, what's happening? The Powerpuff Girls are flying. All right, now let's see what's going to happen. Everyone, say up, down. One more time. Is that all right? Yes? Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Listen, this will be our very specific or clear instructions for bubbles. So first, when the green flag is flipped, bubbles has to stay in front of the background so that we can see her. And then, she needs to go to a specific position. So you see the X and Y there? That means a certain position where, so that she can stay behind the blossom and above buttercup, all right? And then, to animate her, animate means to make it look like she's moving. She needs to change from costume or bubbles two to bubbles three. It has to be forever, that means it's going on all the time. And then, Bubbles needs to follow Blossom. So when somebody presses the up button, she needs to go up vertically by 10 units. Alright? And then when somebody presses the down button, uh, the down button, she needs to go down vertically also. That's why it's negative 10 because she needs to go down. Alright? Now, again, what language is this? Scratch. English. Again. Oh, blast. Our character cannot understand that. Alright? That's why we need to turn these instructions into a program. And that's when coding comes in. We will use blocks. Everybody say blocks. Okay, so we have pink, orange, 